All right, so today what we're gonna do is wet seal these windows. And what we're looking at is uh, damaged window gaskets. And we'll see if we can not show some of these gaskets. And some are actually missing. If you look at these gaskets, you can see they're starting to dry rot. So what we'll be doing is cutting the gasket out. We'll bioclean the glass, the metal, and inside the area where the gasket used to be to give us best possible adhesion. All right, I'm gonna be cutting out the seal here and I'll be leaving the gasket next to the window so that way it doesn't cause any type of damage to the glass. Exposing our metal for our caulk. Okay, so what you see here is right where my finger is. This is the metal the gasket used to be on. You can see all this dirt that comes all the way up and down. This is right in here, so that's all dirt. So after you cut the gasket out, you need to bioclean your glass where the gasket was and these have stainless steel frames so we're also bio cleaning the stainless steel frames we do this all at once all right so we wet our white pad which is on abrasive white pad we're going to apply the bio clean directly to the pad and i'm going to spread it on the pad i will then mark it out in different spots on the window to make sure when i'm scrubbing that it will spread out evenly I'll also be applying it to the joint where the caulk will be adhering to and the metal face as well. I'm working circular motions, applying pressure to clean anything that may be on the glass to restore it. Works really great for hard water stains. Right after you apply the BioClean, scrub it, or again, take your mop, your squeegee, and clean it off the window and the metal. Take a rag, dry out my joints. Yeah, that metal's nice and clean now. That'll give us something uh, for the caulk to adhere to. It'll give us the best possible adhesion using the BioClean. Cost effective way to call. With our gun, we're going to touch 
top part of the gun, insert the sausage, take a razor blade, and slice the top. And then screw the top part back on and squeeze until and you see pulp start to come up to the tip, at which time the gun will be ready to go. And hit the release on the back to make sure it doesn't keep pouring out. We then will apply our caulk into the joint at an angle that will fill the joint and keep it flat. That's why our gun is tip is cut at an angle. I am filling in the joint to the metal to the glass so it'll be ready for when I tool it. That we don't have any open spots. Nice steady squeeze to match my pace that I'm moving the gun at. Once you finish the joint, you then hit the release button again to ensure caulk doesn't continue to come out the tip of your caulk. I will then grab some tooling knives. Size four we're using. This size doesn't matter, it's bigger. It's just to clean my knife off. So your first swipe is just going to be to knock it down. There's no pressure. And I'll clean it off excess. On the second swipe, I'm gonna go back up. Make sure that I got a clear adhesion to the joint. Final swipe. We're going to be smoothing it out and applying a rail on the very edge of the tape. So when I pull my tape, it will be nice and smooth. Now in this case, I had a little excess here, so I will clean that off again and reapply the pressure there. Always start at the top of your bead and finish at your bottom. We're also doing minor joints on this specific type of window set. I have a little excess on this one. But you don't do the bottom side of the miter. That's correct. So leave weep holes in case so water does any, get in. Any water gets into this frame, it will come out that bottom. All right, the window has been caulked, and we're now gonna pull our tape. So when we pull our tape, we wanna make sure we're pulling it away from the caulk itself. We don't want any of the excess to flip back over onto our freshly tooled bead. Occasionally the tape will tear as such. This one uh, tearing a little more often than normal. So what we have here, this is the old gasket that we are cutting out. And this side was the new caulk. 
and what we want it to be. We want it to look just like it did before. However, the caulks in the last 20 years, gaskets last about 10. Again, this is all new here. And this is the old area.